Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to show you an incredibly rare fairy shrimp. This is the Salt Playa fairy shrimp, scientifically known as Phallocryptus sublediae. The fairy shrimp is known only from a few localities in West Texas and parts of New Mexico. These habitats tend to be extremely arid, receiving little to no rainfall every year. Matter in fact, some of these locations will only receive a large rain event every few decades. So you would need to be at the right place at the right time to spot this fairy shrimp. Now, by the name of this fairy shrimp, you might already figure out that these guys occur in saline environments. Moreover, these playas tend to be high in the mineral called gypsum. Now, as far as raising the species in captivity, this was very tricky. If you didn't know already, fairy shrimps have a method to ensure the survival of their species. And this is desiccant resistant eggs. During a flood event, some of these eggs will hatch, however, a majority might stay dormant within the soil. The reasoning for this is unpredictable conditions. So, fairy shrimps might hatch, however, they will not live long enough to mature and reproduce. This ensures that there's a second chance for them to reproduce, just in case conditions were not right the first time. In this case, with the salt plier fairy shrimp, the habitat conditions are so unpredictable that this fur shrimp has a very low percentage of eggs that hatch. And luckily, after many attempts, I finally got one female to hatch. I first thought that I contaminated my culture since nothing ever hatched the few times that I tried. However, letting this fairy shrimp grow, I soon realized that it was indeed a salt playa fairy shrimp. This fairy shrimp is pretty tiny compared to the other species I've cultured, and swims incredibly fast. I was pretty devastated that I was unable to hatch a male of the species since I had a limited time for the female to live and have them mate to create the next generation of salt playa fairy shrimps. With that being said, I'm going to cut the video short since there's still a lot of information I don't know about the species and not having a male, I was unable to see if there was a different behavior. Uh, between the male and females, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video and also got to witness this relic species, the Sampai fairy shrimp.